And with rising food prices, inflation, and layoffs, talking about money isn't easy. Kat Sandoval takes us to a high school teaching students about money in a unique way. Minnesota high school senior Elizabeth Anderson has a big responsibility. I'm just going to recount this because it seemed to give one extra. She takes care of the bank accounts of her classmates and teachers as an intern and teller at the First National Bank of Malacca. And hopefully I got a chance to chat with the bank president about financial literacy. It can be very intimidating to walk into a bank. It's usually a very quiet space. So they made the bank accessible for all 764 high school students, a mini bank which opens two days a week. It resembles a classroom, but don't be fooled. It's a real bank complete with security cameras and a safe. So we really wanted to educate kids on banking is a really great career and giving them the opportunity to work here in the school branch and be a teller and show their peers that this is a good place to start. A 2021 Harris poll found a little more than a third of adults are concerned that money they have or will save won't last. That can be due in part to the lack of financial literacy skills like creating budgets, paying off loans or putting aside money for the future. Only 15 states require a financial literacy course for students to graduate high school. So unless they learn from their parents, a majority of students are left without that real world knowledge. They don't really have a concept of um, how to make their money work for them, uh, you know, what a bank can do to kind of help provide those opportunities to build wealth and to, um, you know, become uh, kind of self-made. While the state of Minnesota doesn't have a financial literacy requirement to graduate, Principal Damien Patnode saw an opportunity for a hands-on approach for his students. After visiting a larger school with a similar concept, he approached the local bank two years ago. Now students like Anderson are seeing a difference. I don't think a lot of high schoolers um, spend very well. I think they spend very carelessly, I would say, um, and don't really think about like Oh, like getting a coffee every single day, it does add up. Anderson is already thinking long term, retirement. I actually recently just opened up a Roth IRA account because of the bank, because um, I learned what it was uh, working through my internship. What lessons have you learned that you want to take on with you in the future? It's just save, to save and have it there and have an emergency fund. Okay. So this financial planning okay. worksheet is really good for the younger kids. Um, Interns like Anderson um, also yeah, teach yeah. other students, including elementary school kids, about money. So but it's more than just like learning and, and teaching. The, the paid internship the not only exposes students to banking as a career, but it also looks great on a resume. And I tell kids all the time when they do internship and work in a bank, this is something that other students don't have. This puts you a step ahead. First National Bank has been part of this community for more than 120 years. Nelson says the bank invested $15,000 to get the mini bank started. This is not a money maker. Uh, we are doing this solely as a community rent reinvestment, um, trying to teach our kids. We really wanted kids to see their peers working in a branch and understand that it's a good career. For adults or high schoolers afraid of tackling financial matters, so Anderson funny. has a tip. You just have to face your fear and look at your bank account. And if you look at it, that's because of you. Kat Sandoval, Scripps News, Malacca, Minnesota.